phone's about to die, so let's see how fast I can do this. I want to do a journal entry, so this is private, but I'm going to make it public because that's what privacy is, is non-existent. So, um, two more guys to add to the list. I don't know the last name of the second guy. First guy is Seth Dugan, and you've known him since, like, elementary school. He was kind of a giant and kind of popular, so you didn't really ever hang with him. He was like a Nick Jonas almost. Um, but, yeah, he's cool, whatever. I'm hanging out, out now, I guess. We hung out once. <laughs> Yikes. Um, the other guy is someone I actually, like, really like. It's like a future version of someone I used to date, because they're a chef, they have kids, and, um, they work at the same job as me. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of weird that this person would, like, have the same personality and the same kind of, like, I don't know, it's just weird. It's, he's like 30, 30 something, 38, I want to say. He has two kids. Their name is Alex and Jesse. Alex is the younger one, and then, no, the older one, and then Jesse's the younger one. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm trying to move out of my parents' house into an apartment. I think there's one for $400. Oh, I need to call them about that, too. Um, but, yeah, that's the plan there. Currently working on burning firewood from the fort down there. You can see it. Um, because, well, my mom didn't like it. And I built it, so I felt like I kind of needed to take it down. But, I mean, the main goal of the entire thing was just to get it ready for Hope's wedding. And to get all the sticks out of the way. So, like, I accomplished my mission. I worked really hard, and they didn't even have the wedding out here really pissed me off, but whatever. They still had a pretty wedding, so. Um, what else, what else, I think. Oh, I lied to people at work, they thought I'm already homeless. Which since I am, because I'm not living actually in the house. <sighs> um, still haven't seen Kenny yet. David decided to try and like break things off and then he's texting me again, so I don't know what's up with that. That's weird. Sound like a typical middle school. Let me tell you about the guys I like. Yikes. I'm hoping this fire here will actually just ignite without me actually having to do anything. Cause there's like hot coals underneath, right? So like wind should pick it up enough to <laughs> it. It's a lot of smoke, so I mean, it's like definitely working a little bit or something. Uh, oh, I also finished the Harry Potter Legos, by the way. And there's a new set for $60, and I'm so pissed and so happy at the same time because it means I have to go out and spend another $60 on something I don't need. Because, like, I want this set so bad. It's the train. I was like, oh my gosh, that's iconic. Why would you not? Ah, Lego! I mean, I think it's fine, though, because I haven't collected anything in so long, which, I mean, if I'm trying to, like, be a minimalist and, like, try and condense down my stuff and stuff I don't use, then I really shouldn't be buying Legos right, but I think they're a good investment, you know? There's sets now that were, like, 200 and now we're, like, $10,000, so, like, I don't know who pays for that kind of shit, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of crazy to me, but hey, whatever. If you got the money, you got the money. So it's just like, oh, that's just something I realized. It's like, now, like, okay, I'm working this job. I have good money coming in. I'll probably move out into an apartment. Oh, my God. I just want to save as much money as possible. So, like, do I want to try and live in my van? I don't know. Hope you enjoyed this little journal entry. Hope you enjoyed getting that out of my private business. Oh, that tasted nasty. I just woke up and there's like still like hunks of boogers still in the back of my throat. I'm not scared to be honest. Are you? Um. Religiously, I don't 
know what's going on. Like, I still believe in God and so on and so forth, but I think Dan's right when I say that third eye is closed. I don't know. I'm still on the hunt for the truth. It's been five minutes. I think this has been long enough.